boys and girls. Gather around as I tell you a story. A story of the Middle Kingdom, better known as China, realistically known as Kami China. Established by this bum, this mass murderer, Mao Zedong. Now you need to understand this, folks. There's never, ever been such a creature as a good communist. Now I'm bringing you this story now because my good friend Shun is currently at the United Nations in Geneva, Switzerland, working on another topic. But he came across a group of people, or a delegation, from the Southern Mongolian Congress. And the gentleman from the Southern Mongolian Congress, he addressed the UN with the following that I'm about to impart upon you on what's taken place in Southern Mongolia. You see, folks, we know what's taking place in Tibet, how the commies are suppressing the Buddhist religion and the Tibetan people. We know what the commies are doing in East Turkestan, known as Xinjiang, suppressing the Muslim religion and suppressing the Muslim culture. We know about those two regions. Not many of us are aware of what's taking place in Southern Mongolia. Southern Mongolia was ran over by the commies this guy and his rapist murdering thugs after the Second World War. They sucked in the land to make a part of China. Upon conquering this area, they prohibited the Mongolians from practicing their Buddhist religion, which they would have been practicing for hundreds of years, if not thousands, suppressing Buddhism. They also suppressed the Buddhist monks, and they burned down a whole bunch of Buddhist temples. The, no, the uh, Mongolian people historically, since the beginning of time, since there's been the first Mongolian, have been nomadic, traveling around, not staying in one spot. Well, the commie says, wait a minute, hey, stop this woman around, will you? You're going to plant your roots and stay in one place. You might want to around. And you're going to engage in agriculture. You're going to grow crops, and that's your food. And also, what you make extra contributes to the rest of the culture. Well, guess what? The Mongolian grasslands are not conducive to farming, to agriculture, because there's not enough rain to support agricultural industry. That's why they're nomadic. So as a result of not being nomadic and not producing any food, Guess what happened? They starved to death. You see, this SOB, this bum, starved to death close to 30 million people in the last century. Many of them happened to be Mongolians. So, since that happened, what also happened was the commies arrested close to 400,000 people. Gee, you mean we didn't kill enough of them? We had to arrest them? Absolutely. Close to 30,000 were murdered, executed by the commies. And this is out of a population at the time of about a million and a half people. During the Cultural Revolution, the commies had fun crippling around 120,000 Mongolians. The Mongolian scholars estimated that hundreds of thousands were sacrificed by the commies. Murdered. The Mongolian grasslands have now become a field of ethnic genocide for the Mongolian people. Chinese built factories in the Mongolian area, southern Mongolia, which are polluting the environment. They don't care about the environment. They don't care about the environment anywhere in China. Why are they going to care about it in southern Mongolia? And Mongolians own resources are being extracted out of the area to the benefit of the Mongolians? No. To the benefit of the commie thugs in Beijing. And this representative from the Southern Mongolian Congress, he brought up these topics to the United Nations in Geneva. What do you think is going to happen with the UN? Nothing. The UN is now controlled by the commie thugs in China. They should have never been allowed to be on the Security Council. Now they dominate. 
The next time you purchase a product made in China, this is what you're supporting. This genocide taking place, this eradication of cultures and religion. Now, I understand in many situations, you do not have a choice. You can only buy the product if you want it because it's made in China, such as an Apple iPhone. But in a lot of other instances, we do have a choice. We may have to spend a little more money, but is it not worth to spend that extra money that they give the money to these people, the commie thug murderers committing genocide? Spend the extra money and buy the product or products not made in China if you can. All right, folks, these, like I said, there's no such thing as a good communist. Those two words are not interchangeable. Those two words together are an oxymoron. They do not exist. You understand? And let me tell you all you other dopes who are promoting socialism. Socialism is a gateway ideology to communism. And when you get communism, you get this. <laughs> we'll see you. God bless you. God bless America. God bless the nation. You happen to be in, and dear God, please bless and have mercy on those people in Tibet, East Turkestan, and Southern Mongolia. See you.